your hand in there. Well, we can't. We are now live. All right. That looks like a badass bunch right there. Look at that. They all look determined. All right, folks. Over here, quick. Over here. I'm in the Everybody, we're out here in front of Wells Fargo in celebration of Shark Week. Woo! Woo! The, Discovery, the Discovery Channel uh, highlights a lot of sharks like this one that we got right here. Um, these are not the dangers to our communities. Actually, it is predatory loan sharks like Wells Fargo right here behind us. Is that right? Alright. So we've got uh, we've got a whole long list of grievances for, for Wells Fargo and their predatory tactics. And uh, happy to have uh, Chris here who's going to kind of reveal a little bit of uh, our long history with Wells Fargo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does anyone here remember something called the uh, financial crisis of 2008? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody? Oh, yeah. Any idea? might have been responsible, who might have caused something like that? Was it you? Was it Joe? No. no. Was it the cat? No. No. It was Wells Fargo. And Wells Fargo could be uh, more responsible than any other bank for the 2008 financial crisis because in the run-up to that crisis, they were out in communities, low-income communities, communities of color, making loans, subprime loans, and selling them as good loans. And they essentially got away with it because they got bailed out by the federal government and they claimed no wrongdoing. They took no responsibility for the things that they were doing, for the neighborhoods that they were tearing down, and in fact continue to say today that it's a good thing that they built up those neighborhoods, these blighted neighborhoods that have been foreclosed on, that are empty. No. This did still goes back, on. Did they pay back those bailouts? Absolutely not. No. Wells Fargo doesn't do things like that. That's not how they operate. They give bonuses to their CEOs. Uh, they give bonuses to people who create fake credit cards and fake checking and savings accounts. This just happened less than a year ago. Right. Wells Fargo was fine, and they fired their CEO, but have they changed their practices? Yeah. Are they still in our neighborhoods and our communities trying to get us to buy products that we don't need? Yeah. Trying to give us interest rates that are higher than anyone can actually afford? Yeah. Giving money to payday lenders? Payday lenders that then turn around and take their money that they get it to sell it to our community for 400 to 500 percent. That ain't right. And this continues to go on. It keeps happening. Wells Fargo needs to be here, held responsible. They need to be called out for the sharks that they are. They need to be called out for the people who don't build up communities. They tear them down. They build their big buildings with their giant facades. They build a shiny, happy face for everyone to look at. And really, there's nothing there. There's no substance. It's all about making money for the wealthy 1%, and they're going to keep doing it until we stop them. That's right. right.
We're expecting hot big things from this new CEO, CEO, because that other one, boy, he was bad. Dear Mr. Sloan, on behalf of members of Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement and the over one million more members of our coalition with People's Action, we are demanding a meeting to discuss Wells Fargo's business and lobbying practices. Having recently been named the least respected company in America, you know that your abusive predatory practices are finally catching up with you. Your company has a long history of shady practices and abusive products beyond the latest fake account scandal rooted out by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Yay! You were, yeah, you were the leader in fraudulent mortgage practices and foreclosures. You forced victims of your account scam into arbitration and for years you scammed your own account holders with triple digit interest deposit advance loans just to name a few. And personally speaking, my own family has been abused by Wells Fargo in their mishandling of an estate. So I know exactly what I'm talking that about. Right. But right. so while you've made the media rounds with assurances that you are working to rebuild trust in your company, you have been conspicuous and conspicuously absent on major issues that underlie that trust. If you want to bring Wells Fargo up from the bottom, not just in opinion polls, but as a partner in our communities, you must start by immediately breaking with your DC lobbying groups. You must publicly give your support to a strong, independent, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Yes. Yes. You must also publicly call for the continuation of regulatory guidance on bank payday products like direct Just had a honk from the driver passing and vow to not get back into that business. Making these moves will not fix everything that is wrong with Wells Fargo, but they will go a long way to proving that under your leadership, Mr. Sloan, a desire to build trust with our communities is about more than words and PR. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, everyone. We're going to see if they still have the doors open. We'll drop off this letter and uh, and actually an old call Wells Fargo. But it's time to put people first. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. The oh, door is still open. Now we are entering the oh, yes. lobby. We just got one letter. Just one letter. Letter? Just one letter. No, it appears that the interior door has been locked. Okay. Please come in. Let the shark in. Could we need to do the letter, sir? To sure. The That's all we wanted. Okay. Um, well, I do have to ask. You can be outside on the sidewalk. We just can't be out here. Yeah, we we just wanted to bring in the letter. Okay. So thank you for getting that delivery. No problem, sir. Appreciate it. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The letter has been delivered. A, a, a cop took it and we'll give it to an employee. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll do it for the stream, but uh, there may be something else coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and catch you on the stream.